Good morning, everybody. The old wolf Rick here, and it is another very nice morning here on the Las Vegas Strip. But another day we're supposed to get up at near 100 degrees today, so uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on that. I'm starting this video right here. I have uh, actually a little bit of Vegas news to report today of things that have happened. And we're going to start right here with this piece of land uh, that's empty. It's like next to the Sahara Hotel and the uh, Fountain Blue over here. As you know from some of my previous videos, it's like I talked about how a Las Vegas guy, named, uh, uh, Jackie Robinson, had... Uh, had plans it's like to put in a property there with an NBA ready arena and he had been working on that for over 10 years and, and uh, the city finally uh, just told him it's like no more he could never get financing for it and uh, they it just finally ended up falling through as the uh, city just told him it's like uh, you know they wouldn't entertain the idea anymore however a new ownership group has come through and has started talking about basically kind of the same idea, the same plans. Uh, they talked about having uh, hotel, uh, hotels, luxury hotels over there. So I'm picturing maybe something like, uh, I don't know, maybe like Resorts World, where they have the three different uh, hotel chains. It's like in one property, maybe something like that. But uh, but they talked about luxury hotels. They talked about uh, entertainment complex over there. Uh, you know, retail and uh, possibly an NBA ready arena. So uh, we'll see if anything comes of that. It's like with this new group that's involved in uh, looking to put something over there. But we'll just kind of uh, walk up the strip here for a few minutes and take a look at the, what's going on today here as the weekend has arrived again. The decorated uh, deuce bus on the strip here. Promoting Area 15. They, uh, you know, when that first opened, I mean, like in the first couple of weeks since like that Area 15 opened, I did a video from there. And uh, that's when they were kind of uh, still, it's kind of a soft opening, but they were still doing everything. And, and uh, everything that they were doing was basically free. You know, you could go to any of the exhibits and whatever they had there. Not free anymore. But it's a cool little place. Now they're putting in at the area 15, they're building a uh, Universal's Monsters exhibit there and all this cool stuff. So I'm really looking forward to looking forward to that. Big fan of all those uh, 1930s Universal Monster movies. So I think that'll be absolutely cool. These residential condos here on the strip. They had, uh, you know, when they built these, they had high hopes that this end of the strip, it's like, would just uh, boom. And uh, so much so, it's like they have retail here on the first level. And basically, uh, uh, CVS store was on this first level here at one time for a while. That's how much they thought it's like this area would uh, kind of explode, you know, with the Fountain Blue and everything. Of course, uh, the Fountain Blue uh, never developed. Well, it took a long time to develop, let's put it that way. And... Uh, Yes, yeah, so it was just uh, one of those uh, one of those things. The CVS store was there for a little while, and then they ended up closing up because they just didn't have the volume for business, you know. Hi. 
There's their information if anybody's ever interested. Buying a condo here on the strip. This is where the CVS store was, right in the, right in this location, right here. So this retail space is uh, still for rent, basically. It's a big store, so I'm not sure if they would divide it up or not. To be honest with you. All right, so here's the Vegas news. This is what's going on in Las Vegas. You saw uh, those people walking around in their bathing suits there. It's, it is EDC weekend here in Las Vegas. The electric daisy carnival that they have, it's like at the Speedway. So, you know, that always draws Upwards, I think, of around 200,000 people into Las Vegas, so that's a big event for Vegas. And that'll run this weekend, uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All, the, all your hit electronic music, if that's your thing. But uh, let's talk about some stuff that's happening here on the, uh, here on the Strip couple of items uh, the Mirage Hotel will be closing on July 17th completely closing down you know they've been doing some renovation work uh, inside there while it's been open and I told you in a video earlier uh, this past week that uh, the Beatles show you know the Cirque du Soleil Love Beatles show was closing down at the end of June and basically, uh, they just announced in July of uh, July 17th, it'll be closed down completely. And it will be closed for three years. Uh, they haven't set a actual day yet of when it will reopen, but they said it would be in 2027. And expect to be fully ready by then. Uh, completely remodel the old property and have that new guitar, uh, guitar hotel tower. Uh, that'll be built also in the front of the property. Also, it seems like perhaps David Copperfield, you know, who headlights his show over at the MGM Grand, who he's been over there for years now, seems like he's been maybe a bad boy. There are now 16 complaints against him of women who have come forward this uh, claiming sexual misconduct and claiming that he uh, I'll push that for everybody and claims that he uh, drugged them and then had sex with them. 16 complaints. It'll be interesting to see it's like what happens with that. Maybe we saw what happened with uh, Bill Cosby, huh? It'll be interesting to see it's like what happens with MGM. It's like how quick uh, they pull the plug on the show. So that's a that's kind of a story of progress there. And also, kind of on a Saturday, the same thing, over at the Bellagio, the... Uh, Picasso's Restaurant, if you've ever eaten there, one of their uh, high-end restaurants inside there, will be closing down as of August of this year. It's been open since 1998, Picasso's Restaurant. I guess the uh, uh, executive chef is stepping away. And uh, I think he was also executive chef at 
and other he's going to be stepping down from his responsibilities at that at the Lago over at the Bellagio also. And uh, but no word on that property or that restaurant uh, if it's going to stay open or if it will close down also. So, but Picasso's at the Bellagio will be closing down in August. So if that was one of your favorite restaurants. It was always a little bit out of my price range, but uh, I know it always had a stellar reputation. And good news for gamblers, perhaps finally, the IRS is going to propose to uh, Congress, I guess, that they raise the taxable uh reporting for gaming wins. You know, it's always been $1,200. It's been that way since 1977. The $1,200 uh, has always been the uh, thing. If you went over that, it's like you got to fill out the, the tax form to pay taxes on it. They are looking to raise that down to $5,800. $5,800. Now, the inflationary numbers on what uh, $1,200 was in 1977 to now is uh, 6200 so fairly close. And I guess they're going to propose that in the next few weeks. So hopefully some reprieve for, uh, for gamblers that get a lot of hand pays. I know probably a lot of these big slot channels, so it's like we're more than welcome to that. All right, everybody. The wind's starting to kick up here, so I apologize for that. I am Lone Wolf Rick. Thank you very much for joining me. I greatly appreciate it. Did a little work here in front of it's lots of fun. Catch out my, or check out my video that I did uh, yesterday, my staycation at the uh, Circus Circus. If you need the room. Also, uh, my quote unquote dinner that I had there at Circus Circus. I appreciate y'all joining me very much. Hey, everyone, take care. Okay, stay healthy. I'll see y'all in the next video. So I just kind of maybe walk around here a little bit more. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.